want to share with you my experience with helping people with chronic health conditions, including herpes. And herpes is something that's very interesting because it is created by a virus, but it's the effects of the virus in your body that is unwanted, the skin outbreaks. And so I'm going to show you how the virus and the outbreaks can be handled, but they're actually two separate things. So if you want to know if your herpes antibody test is going to be negative, the answer is no. If you want to know if the herpes DNA test can be lower to uh, become zero, that is a no yes. So a herpes antibody test is always going to be positive and there's nothing we could change. But if you want to be negative for even having the herpes virus, and if you don't want to have the skin outbreaks, then there's something that can be done about that. Okay. And I'm going to go over it exactly how it happens so you understand exactly how this can help you. What does this herpes program focus on? Well, it focuses on not getting skin outbreaks, and then it focuses on what's causing the skin outbreaks. And I'm going to go over that with you right now. So we have a herpes virus. And this herpes virus has made its way into your body and has attached itself to the nerve. So now we have a herpes virus attached to one end of the nerve, and that's the nerve we call the ganglion. And this herpes virus attaches to the nerve and irritates this nerve, and inflammation is created. So now we have a situation where the herpes virus is now attached to the nerve, and this nerve is now inflamed and the inflammation comes out on the other end and it comes out as a skin outbreak and that's the blistering the redness that's actually the toxins in the nerve that's getting pushed out of the skin it's like your body's way of detoxing the nerve but the virus is all the way on the other side of the nerve and the outbreak is on this side so the herpes cleanse that we're focusing on is actually two parts. It is now getting rid of the virus first, because that's important, and then cleaning out the nerve so that we stop the outbreak. And I'm going to show you that. At times somebody has herpes and now they have decided they want to do something about it, there's basically two types. There is the first type of person that actually does not have an outbreak or maybe very, very little and the blood test shows that they have herpes. Blood test is positive. The second type of person is a frequent outbreak. It's on a rhythm. Sometimes it's daily, sometimes it's weekly, sometimes it's monthly, and sometimes it's every six months. So it's either you have a herpes outbreak every day and you need the antiviral herpes medication to keep the outbreak under control, or the herpes outbreak comes once every six months and all the variations between having a herpes virus every day and every six months. Most women get it when they get their period and then the outbreak turns on. And that means that there is a hormonal change and for some reason this outbreak here is now happening. Doesn't matter if you never had an outbreak or your outbreak is infrequent or you just positive for herpes and it doesn't matter if it's daily or every six months the process is the same so i'm going to go over that right now so the first thing we have to know about herpes test is there's two types and if you always test the one you're always going to be tested positive once you test positive on this particular herpes test you're always going to be positive for the rest of your life. I got chicken pox when I was a kid. So now if you actually test me for chicken pox, I will always test positive, but doesn't mean I have chicken pox. Okay. I grew up um, here in the States, but I was born somewhere else. And where I was born, they like to give kids uh, vaccinations for TB. 
So if you test my blood, I'm always going to be positive for the TB antibody. But it doesn't mean I have TB. Okay. So this herpes test is if you always test this, you're always going to get positive because you were exposed to herpes. And there's another test afterwards that will tell you how much herpes you have. And we're going to go over this completely, okay? So the first thing we have to do is we have to understand that the test that everybody gets is called a herpes antibody test. And the herpes antibody test, once you test positive for it, you will be positive for it for the rest of your life. And since there is no medical treatment for herpes at this moment, this test is sufficient. And that's the viewpoint of the medical doctor. And since we're now looking for a solution, we're now looking for how to eliminate the virus so you don't contaminate somebody else and how do you eliminate the inflammation in the nerve so you don't get outbreaks so those are the two things that we want to achieve on the herpes cleanse so the herpes antibody test is always going to be positive and there's going to be another test that you're going to need before you start the herpes cleanse the herpes dna test tells you how much of the virus you have. The herpes antibody test is testing to see if you have been exposed to herpes and your body has created antibodies to it. So once I was exposed to chickenpox, my body now created antibodies to this chickenpox virus. So now I will always be tested positive for chickenpox. And if I go anywhere, any medical doctor, and get a blood test, every medical blood test will show that I'm positive for the chickenpox antibody. But I don't have chickenpox, and I cannot give somebody else chickenpox. I was vaccinated for TB, so I have the antibody for TB, but I don't have the TB bacteria in my lungs. So whenever I get a blood test or that TB test that you do on your skin, I'm always going to be tested positive for it because my body contains the antibody. And when you do the further test, you find I you can find and I've done it multiple times, the is no TB bacteria in my body. So a herpes antibody test, you're always going to be tested positive for. And now we're going to do this test, the herpes DNA test, which will actually tell us how much of the virus you have in your system. So do this test before you start the herpes cleanse so you'll know where you're starting from. And after we do the cleansing of the virus, there is an actual cleanse, herbal cleanse, that activates your immune system to attack viruses, especially the herpes virus. And when you do that, you do this test again, and now you can see the change from a high virus to low virus. But if you do the antibody test, the herpes antibody test is still going to be positive. So once you're done with this part of the test, we can start on the actual herpes cleanse okay, for the virus. Once you're done with the herpes virus cleanse, we go on to the second step, which is eliminating the inflammation, the toxins that are, have accumulated in your skin. And that part stops the outbreaks. Step one, virus cleanse. After the virus cleanse, you do another herpes DNA test to see that your herpes levels have reduced to the point where you can no longer be considered having herpes anymore. And then that means you cannot 
pass it on to somebody else. So step two, we're going to reduce the inflammation in the nerve and that will reduce and eliminate the skin outbreaks. So we're going to go over it step by step, more in detail, so you understand exactly what this means and how this program actually works. Okay? It actually is a process. It does not just a pill and poof, everything's better. But once you get through the process and we do these tests along the way, you can be sure for yourself that you are clean. You will not give somebody else the herpes virus and you don't have skin outbreaks. This program does not protect you from getting herpes again. So once you're clean, you may get herpes again. So you really have to be careful. Okay. So we're going to continue on to the next thing.